Hi guys! Guess what time of year it is? It's a dental student's Christmas because around this time many of you will buy loops. I know that this year looks a little bit different so I wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to find a pair that works for you. Stick around, let's find the perfect fit. to it. You're about to have a lot of interactions with a lot of different reps and guess what? You should have an idea at least at base minimum of what you're looking for. I will be referring a lot to my loops. I have Q Optics and obviously it's what I'm going to model for you guys. I love them but keep in mind that I have tried on a gazillion loops because my school has a vendor fair that obviously won't be happening now because of COVID. And in that vendor fair, we were able to try on tons of loops from tons of different brands, everything from Oroscoptic to Design Provisions to Q Optics, you name it, Lumident, everybody was there. And so I've had experience of trying these babies on for hours. So I will tell you what I was mainly looking for. Main things, comfort, magnification, field of view, prescription options, and warranty, 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 cannot say that enough. Main thing about comfort. I remember during one of our first perio modules, we were talking about posture, and we learned about how little shifts and angles of like you moving your head and your neck um, can actually add pounds to your body frame. And that's important because if you do that for years, guess what happens? you end up like a little hunchback. So that's not what we want. We want to avoid that. We want to avoid neck surgery. So this part's really, really important. You want a lightweight frame. Q Optics, they have, for example, these. These are titanium. And the way that they're built, I don't know if you see this, this is pure titanium. And these are the Eclipse TI, by the way, by Q Optics. And the frame being pure titanium is so freaking light. It's awesome. Um, that was one of the first things I noticed. If they feel heavy without a light, forget it. You're up a creek because once you put on the light, it already adds weight to that, okay? So that's really, really important. The next thing that you want to look at is your face. This is why it's important to schedule time with as many reps as you can, with as many brands as you can, because not every single brand will fit the exact same way on your face. There are things to consider. Is the bridge of your nose kind of flat? Do your cheekbones come up a little bit higher than they should? Well, everybody loves high cheekbones, but that's another story. I have friends that tried on some brands that couldn't accommodate that, and the reps were honest about it. They were like, look, we can't see this working with your face. So I like the idea of having something adjustable at the bridge of your nose, if that's something that you're worried about, something like this. Okay, so you found the perfect frame for your face, sits on your nose well, your cheekbones are not in the way, you feel comfy, they're not heavy. So the next thing is, let's choose a magnification. Now, this is where schools will probably tell you, why don't you start at 2.5? And the reason that they do that is because they care about you and because they just want you to be able to work up to a magnification, right? In case you ever want to become an endodontist and you want to, <laughs> you know, go to your 4.0s, you're not shocked. But the reality is when I tried on a 2.5, I really did not see much of a difference in when I'm working on them on my own. And so why would I pay all of this money when I can't see? Most of my classmates, when they were on the fence about whether or not to get the 2.5, because that was, you know, what was recommended, those students went with the 3.0 magnification. And I would say that a large majority of us went with a 3.5. Now, this brings me to my next point, okay? 3.5 is great and all, but field of view is extremely important. There are many times that you have to try this on and it's brand specific as well. So 3.5 might look a little bit weird in one brand and it might look great in the other depending on what the field of view is. So for example, with mine, I have prisms. So the prisms, what they do is that these specific ones from Q-Optics will actually expand my field of view. And it doesn't get any better than that. 
because I did try on other 3.5s and I felt like it was just like very tunnel vision. And that's also another reason to maybe slide down the magnification scale because that does happen. You'll get like this tunnel vision where you only see this much. I'm so glad that I went with something that gives me expanded field of vision because when I got into fixed prosthodontics where I need to be able to see this margin and another margin and just be able to relate a couple of items to each other, that was extremely important. So I'm really glad that I did that and I spent the extra money on that because it was so worth it. Another thing that you have to think about is your prescription. So with your prescription, it's important for you to know that there are companies that will either give you the prescription right on your lenses or they will have you be able to clip them on. I wear glasses maybe at night when I'm home. So I definitely didn't consider that, but for my friends that did, they loved the idea that with Q-Optics they were able to clip on their prescription. So that's something that you can consider, something that you can ask your rep from any brand. How do they manage the prescription? One of my big tips is do not sleep on getting corrections made to your loops. A lot of times the prescriptions will come in and they might not be perfect. Do not sleep on that. We usually get loops at a time where dental school starts revving up for you guys by the time it gets delivered and it's so easy to say, you know what, I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of that later. And guess what? You never do it and then they're just sitting there so please 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 if you get loops that are delivered to you and they're not to your liking or something's off make sure that you actually get those fixed especially with prescription so I know that for Q Optics, they offer a free prescription insert. So that's a really cool feature, especially if you don't wanna add anything to your budget and you still want an amazing pair of loops with the right specs. You having some accommodations that you need shouldn't hinder you from getting that amazing pair of loops that you want. So this is also a good option that you can ask any rep to see what they're able to do for you. The other option that you need to consider is the warranty. Every company has a different warranty and you should look into that. Some of them are like two years. Other companies will say that it's within a four year time frame. It just depends. I know for my loops, that was a big thing. I am a person that just, it's really hard when I make a purchase. So it has to be something that's good. So something that I liked about my Q Optics looks specifically were the fact that they offer a lifetime warranty. So that to me was peace of mind and I love that. So you need to ask your rep, what is a warranty on this? Also, when you first get your loops, how long do I have before no more corrections can be made, right? Because one thing is your loops breaking and another thing is, wow, these loops were not made correctly. So that's something that you need to ask your brand. Also something very important, customer support without warranty. Is your loops company inside or outside of the United States? If something breaks, how fast will it get to you? If something needs fixing, how quickly you know can they mobilize? Are there larger loops companies, smaller loops companies, all things that you have to consider. So we covered a lot, right? We covered comfort, do they fit, how do they feel, the weight, we covered magnification. The last thing that I'm gonna leave you with is that the actual little telescopes are important. A lot of companies will say that they have something like through the lens or um, flip up. So through the lens is what I have. And then flip up would be that you can just like flip them up and it's supposed to be easier for you to have a conversation with your patient. Not every company is made equally. I tried on a couple of different ones that were through the lens that did not work um, that well. I feel like it did kind of get in the way, but the way that these are made, I really loved how I was able to still see considerably through the lens, but also be able to have a conversation with my patient. But if you get flip ups, I mean, I guess if that's your thing, I think that's just another moving part that you're adding to your loops and it doesn't always work as well as they say in theory, in my opinion. But again, that's something that you can try out for yourself and you can ask your reps to show you the differences. So, I hope that this was helpful. I did not want to overwhelm you guys. Again, shameless plug for my loops because to be honest, I've had a great two years with them so far. They've been through all of my successes and failures and I feel that um, they're a pair of loops that I'll have for the rest of my life, uh, mainly because of the lifetime warranty. But definitely look for, again, loops that are good for you guys. 
Uh, there's so many companies to look at. And don't worry, I won't leave you without the ability of choosing a light because guess what? You don't necessarily have to buy the same light from the company that you bought your loops from. That's exactly what I did. I bought a different light. Uh, didn't work out for me. Watch my next video in order to find out and maybe what I would have done. And I'll have two different lights to show you guys so that you can see the differences. One cable, one wireless like this one. And we can talk about what your options are there because a light is just as important as your loops, believe it or not. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you'd like for me to talk about, feel free to send me a message and let me know. I truly do enjoy getting emails from you guys and helping you guys get through your dental school journey or pre-dental school journey. So if you like this, make sure to turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video again. I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys next.